Hey guys, just the guy here with another episode of Sky Factory 4. Um, today we're going to be tackling something I didn't expect. So we just finished our um, animal farm, our crop farm, and it's doing pretty good. We got lots of carrots, lots of seeds. It's now being positive. Um, we can keep up with the farms now that I have two of them. And then on a little side note, we bit that um, built that fisher. Uh, resource fisher or whatever from the same farm. I don't know if I have it. I don't have it saved. But the downside of that is, is I'm getting a lot of books, and some of them are kind of good, some of them aren't. Um, but obviously storing them in a normal storage system is bad because I can't put them in uh, crates or anything like everything else I got going here, because it would be like a single. I don't think. I don't think they even fit in crates, but if, even if they did, it'd be like, you know, one crate per every combination of enchantments. And there's a lot of enchantments in this particular mod pack. So, I wanted to build um, an ender library. You put books in there, and it takes all the enchantments and st uh, stores them as enchantments. And then you can put a book in there to pull out the enchantments that you want. So, to build the Ender Library, you need an Ender Chest, which I can do. Eye of Ender, Blaze Rod, and Ender Pearl, no problem. Um, actually, we're going to need a couple of these, I think. Oh well. Yeah, because we need Ender Bookshelves. Which is the purple block, right? Well, that sounds complicated because I haven't been to the end yet at all. I don't even know how to get there, to be honest. Um, but you need pop course, course fruits. And then to get course fruits, you can put an apple and some purple slime. I do believe I have purple slime. Which is slime balls and milk. I only have two slimes. I think the one I'm missing is the orange one. Yeah, I have much purple slime. So let's... Oh, I don't have easy access to cows anymore. Do I have a milk? No. Well, I could make a milk jar. Or a cow in a jar. But that would be a little bit after. I'm going to try to keep this episode short. So let me get some milk and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got the milk, and this might be a little weird because I lost the clip I originally recorded, so I had to do this again, but it's pretty simple. So you just put milk in the thing, you put that in there, and then you just get your apple, which I forgot. Luckily you get quite a few either out of oak saplings or apple saplings. And then every one of these, you get a coarse fruit, so you get four per milk. And then, over here is what I did earlier, but I, you can put a chorus fruit into end stone in a bonsai hopper. And it'll grow you plants, which will, and look at it, in there. uses, bonsai trees. You can get coarse fruits, obviously, pop coarse fruits, you don't even have to cook them, ender pearls on a small chance, and coarse flowers. And then to get the pop coarse fruits, you just have to cook a coarse fruit in an oven. Oh, this one's currently doing something. But you know how to put stuff in an oven. And then from there, you just take your pop chorus fruits pour to a purple block and then go back to making our ender library ender bookshelves or bookshelves obsidian and purple blocks now you're gonna need a lot of these um, because it's about, you get 
four slots per bookshelf and each slot holds one enchantment one unique enchantment uh, which does include like if there's sharpness five one two and three and four are all separate enchantments in terms of this thing so you'll need a lot of those and then you need them obviously for the actual under library too you need four of them and an ender chest so let me break this again make this and that's pretty much it for building these um, now I'm gonna show you some clips of me making some really big mistakes and then we'll get to how this actually works because inputting books is pretty simple you just right click the book on the library and it'll turn up in one of the slots but if you want to automate it there's a lot of wrong ways to do it I'll show you guys that in a second all right guys so uh the storage cables with the export did not work it didn't interfere so we're going to try just a regular item cable and export what we're going to do though i, I realized that wouldn't really work so they're all in there turn this on some of them left So I'm not sure what's going on. Let's see. There's some stairs in the pipe somehow. So no, they're not going in. They're just stuck in the pipes. Hey guys, so no, it doesn't work. It says valid. I turned off everything. Um, but it's not even taking the depth strider book out of the thing let alone any of the other books so no hey guys just a guy here i'm not sure how well this is going to go with my rest of my clips cuz i messed around with a lot of things that didn't work and i didn't want to end the episode that way so i did find this that worked um but i thought i'd put it in so i'm not sure how far it goes like how far it'll reach from the ender library uh, so far it seems to go horizontally i don't know if it goes up and down just yet it is kind of hard to read unless you're super close so that is annoying, but I did find a way to automatically do it. So I saw, so like I said, I don't know if this design works completely. It might only go horizontally. I don't know if it goes vertically. I haven't had enough enchantments yet to figure out, but what I did, if I can get up here. Is I did have to use an automated user set to use, um, it has a storage export cable with a book and no metadata so it takes all enchanted books and then on the export thing or import I have a book and then an enchanted book with the metadata turned off so it'll take out books and then it'll take out enchanted books so when you put enchanted books in with more than one enchantment it spits out a book with the remaining enchantment so you do need to have those two exports but yeah, on um, the previous parts I tried processing cables, storage cables, storage link cables, um, and then just a plain old item extraction pipe filtering in, and none of them seem to do anything. So, but this does work. It just basically right clicks for you. So if I do open my thing here, I dump these enchanted books in there, shield bash and soul bound, and then blast protection and all these. You'll see them in here, and then they go away, and more books come. And you'll see I have more enchantments here now. Some of them are duplicated, I guess. No, so far I only have one of everything. No, I have two of a couple of them, okay. So far we haven't hit another row. I'm really interested to see if that does happen. Um, let's double check this. So there's none sitting in here. That means it's not unable to use it because... So now I just have to wait for another book to come out of my fish farm. So I'll be right back and see how long it takes. Oh, but wait, wait, never mind. So they are working up here. So it does go vertically at least one row. That is awesome. So this should last me a very long time. I don't know if there's more than, I mean, it's, I think it's six, seven rows high. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, five high and seven wide. 
with one in the middle for the ender library. So that's a times four for each block. That's a lot of enchantments. Um, to get it out though, I do believe I'm gonna have to just click. I could set an automated user on the front and it would take stuff out, but it would just be like any random enchantment. But so all I have to do is get a book. I'll have to look into the uh, enchanted anvils and stuff like that to see if they make it easier. So if I right click here, nothing happens. But if I right click on looting, I get a looting book. So that is awesome. And then if I dump this in there again, it goes back. It might not be necessarily the same spot unless I lock it. I'm not sure if I can. Um, Let's try actually look at that. Let's see key. So we got the crate key, but I don't think that's the right one. Grave key, no. Maybe the storage key. Let's try the storage key if I can make it. Ender alloy and some sticks. It is ender utilities, so that's a good thing. Um, we need ender alloy, which is just iron and ender. Which now that we have a coarse fruit plant, we have basically unlimited ender pearls. So let's see if this works. No, it just tells me what's in there. I can't lock it. I'm curious if it does work on these though. Oops. Not what I wanted. I hate that I can't jump around that sometimes. So let's see, does it work on these storage crates? No. I don't know what it works on. Right click on some storage blocks to lock the slots. So yeah, I don't know. Or maybe it can't unlock. But yeah guys, so this is my uh, solution to my fish farm spitting out books. It's going to give me a lot of enchantments. It is a bit tedious to find anything. But there's no way I'm going to organize all this one by one to keep it like that. There should be no duplicates because it will automatically go to one that's already there if it's there. So that's going to stop that. But yeah, guys, I just thought it'd be nice to show this working because I, I did try quite a few things that did not work. If there's an easier way, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of cables I haven't messed with, like the ME and stuff. But yeah, guys, this is uh, just the guy signing off for real this time. Catch you guys later. Bye.